Okay guys, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to uh, show you this, what's going on here. I just want to let show you how I kind of roughed out all where all the curves are going to go for the belly cut and marked where the neck screws are going to go um, to fit the grommets. Now you can't u really use your traditional neck piece because that would put it right, that would put the grommet right there and you just wouldn't have any room. You can use them, you can use the holes for as a reference for down here because you know it fits but up here you kind of have to move everything in a little bit so I just made the right measurements and it's going to be nice. These are about 3 16 thick so I'm going to have to go down about 3 16 but this one's probably going to go down probably about half an inch because this is where the curve is going to be. So get the drilling and then get the carving. Alright, so I have the grommet holes drilled. This one's deeper, but I just have it flush mount right now. I'm going to use the holes as the uh, as the gauge for my uh, for the drill bit that's going to hold the next screws. All right. All right, so I've got the uh, basic rough sanding done in the little curve there and then a little ease of access there. I've got to do a little bit of fine sanding, a little, you know. I hit this with 100 grit with a, a palm sander and then finished it up with some 220. I still got to do some 220 and some fine sanding here just to get rid of the rough edges and everything. But uh, that knocks that part out for the most part. the belly route, I've got the ease of access contour, and I've got the neck heel contour. Some fine sanding that I need to do, but then I hit the top and everything with some 220. I have to round the edges right here. But that's going to be taken care of when I sand the sides and everything like that too. So, um, Flat disc work like a champ. Um, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really good. All right, so I took an old strap template and I just cut out the jack area. I went ahead and pre-drilled the hole for where the strap button is going to go, and I measured about an inch and a half off to where the bottom screw is. That approximates where his jack plate is. Um, screwed in there, it comes at an angle like so, and it, but it's it's in there pretty tight. There's not going to be much wobble, I don't think. And as long as I just drill out the area with a forstner bit before I do the actual route, I shouldn't have any problems. So. I hate to come this far and have the whole thing just get torn up all to crap, so uh, wish me luck.
Okay, I was trying to go down a little bit deeper, and what happened is that since the template was at an angle, it actually routed into the area where the screw was, and caused a little bit of a blow out there. But it's not really going to hurt anything, it's going to be covered up. But now, what I'm going to have to do is just freestyle it and just use the body itself as the template, and uh, just hopefully just try to get down about another quarter of an inch, and I'll be good to go. And there she is, routed in there, jack sticks in there, I had to route a little bit out, drill a little bit out with a Forstner bit, but she's good to go. So that covers all of the major attributes that makes this in appearance at least to a Guthrie. Now I just have to drill some holes for the wires to the control cavity from here to the control cavity and sand it down to 220 and then stain the back. <laughs>